All right. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, cool. Welcome to vlog 12. Hi. That's Marnie. She's the artistic one in the family. Now, Marnie and I share a love of street art, graffiti. The Dockland City Camp, where we parked our camper, is at the epicentre of some of the city's best street art. Berlin offered up our next dose of paste-ups, posters, murals and stencils. I love, what, I love what this represents for the kids in terms of liberating their view of what constitutes art. It's brilliant. discovered a few Venetian Gothic street art gems. We were only in Miami for a couple of days, but we made sure to visit Wynwood, where the walls have been transformed into huge urban canvases. And it was in Miami where we encountered work by our first street art superstar, Shepard Fairey. <music> Melbourne's graffiti scene dates back to the 1970s. You can see that the early 80s New York style of big spray can burners is still very popular in the city's central laneways. Located a few blocks away from the appropriately named 8-bit burger bar, we spotted a piece by Invader, another big name in contemporary street art. The highlight of Melbourne for me, and of the trip so far, has to be the Keith Haring in Collingwood, which dates back to 1984. Apparently, it's around this corner. Are you ready? Ready. Oh my God! So come on, what was your favourite? Um, I like the Star Wars stuff in Miami. Nice. And the Keith Haring in Melbourne. Here? 
Yeah. In fact, yeah. it's just down the road from where we're sat, yep, which is just incredible. Over there. Yeah, it's been an amazing trip so far. I'm sure we're going to see more art, and if we do, we'll put it in the vlogs. Please don't be a stranger. Watch as many vlogs as you want. Join in as well. Uh, please comment and like. But most importantly, subscribe. Shh.